Okay, something else you want to know too is uh, you don't want ferrous objects anywhere near your compass. It'll mess up your, your dial. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start out in my pack right here. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go south 30 meters. Okay? That's going to be south 180 degrees. And then I'm going to walk 30 meters east which will be 90 degrees okay that way then I can set my compass for northwest and I should just be able to walk back Now that's gonna be a lot more than 30 meters but what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna go 30 meters southeast 30 meters north and then I should be able to just follow a northwestern pattern on my compass of 315 degrees and wind up back at my pack okay so let's give that a shot all right now as you can see i'm standing right here in front of my pack okay i got my pack right here and this is where i'm going to start out i'm going to be standing right here all right now i'm going to show you how to set the compass again okay now i said that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go south okay south is 180 degrees all right let me switch this thing back on so it'll be a little clearer all right here we go now okay all i got to do these are my travel arrows, okay? So, all I gotta do is turn my travel arrows up to south. Now, try to be accurate with this thing because if you're off a degree or two, uh, two degrees in, um, if you go five miles, two degrees, I think, will put you off about 900 feet off your target, okay? So, you need to kind of pay attention. Okay, now I'm gonna go south 180 degrees. So what I got to do now is I'm going to physically turn my entire compass. Okay, let me go around on this side. I'm going to physically turn my entire compass around until I've got north lined up. Now I'm going to start right here and I'm going to start walking south. Okay, now what I'm going to do, stand right here in my pack and I got it lined up. Start out with one foot. Start out with one foot. My right foot and then when my left foot passes that'll be one pace i'm gonna pace off 30 meters south okay one two 29 30. all right i'm at 30 now let me let's see i don't want to move let me bring you over here oh me <laughs> getting too old for this <laughs> All right, now, I've done my 30 meters. Now, what's next on our plan is, okay, we went south 180 degrees. Now we want to go east 90 degrees, okay? All right, let's set our compass. Hopefully, if I do enough of this, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so now what we want to do is I want to turn my dial to... 90 degrees east okay all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn right there okay all right now i'm gonna start out from where i was before let me move you over again i'm sorry you're in the way and i picked me up i picked me up an object right there in the distance okay now i got i'm gonna line up my north my red my red with the north and I put my 90 degrees east at the top. I flip my lid over right here. And when I got my lid over right here, what I can do is I can sight this thing in my mirror and I'm looking straight up. Perfect. Now I got a clear shot this time. I see a tree. And I'm going to walk to that tree 30 meters and that'll be my east. Start out with my right foot, left pass. That'll be my first. One, two, 28. 29 30 all right i'm right here Woo! can you see me <laughs> i didn't have the camera in the right spot let me mark this area right here let me get you and bring you over here now all right now this is where i'm at this is where i'm at and i was aimed for that big tree right over there is that big tree right there all right, now I was aimed for that tree right there and I didn't quite make it because I went 
I went my 30 meters. Okay, now I'm standing here. Okay, now the next move up is going to be... Okay, I went over... I went... Um, I went south 180 and then went over east 90 degrees. Now, what I want to do is I want to go northwest 315 degrees. And I'm not counting my paces, okay? Now, part of the reason behind uh, the technique called dead reckoning is because I can tell you right now... Let's go ahead and set this real quick. 315 degrees because it's getting dark. 315 degrees. 315 degrees. Okay, then I will line up my north arrow. Okay, I line up my north arrow. It's going to put me in my, running my, my direction of arrow that way. And I'm going to turn you around. Now, part of the reason for this dead reckoning stuff is because of what I got to walk through. Now, see that right there? That's why I gotta walk straight through is a bunch of briars, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm holding my compass out, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna line up my north right there. My direction of arrow is gonna be right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look off in the distance. You see them two green trees? See how there's a big old green tree there, evergreen and an evergreen there? What I'm gonna do is even though I gotta walk around these briars, I'm gonna wind up aiming for that off in the distance. You can't follow your compass the whole way, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean this forward. Let me cut you back on this macro right here for a minute so I can get up close. All right, see the reflection in it? See how far off you can be? You lean it one way, lean it another way. You wanna level it up and then turn until your mirror lines up with that, okay? Now, I'm gonna walk in that direction right there now. All right, I'm walking. I'm following my northern arrow. I'm walking. Okay, now I know I have gone far enough. Okay, you know why I've gone far enough? Because right there is my pack. Okay, so now that's a pretty good exercise right there. I got my pack laying right there. And that's not too bad. <clears throat> that's not too dang bad right there because my pack is about 10 feet away from me, okay? Now, I think it's going to be too dark to do this next exercise. But the other one that I had planned, let me go through this again. I, I can't walk it off. I have walked it off before. And I'm not going to walk it off this time because it's, it's, it's just getting too dark. Okay, now what you can do next time, all right, let me find my pen. I'm not real organized. <laughs> all right, now this is one, this is, a, this is a favorite one right here that you can do, okay? You can start out, drop your pack somewhere, put a knife in a tree or whatever, okay? And uh, what you can do is, is you can walk, you can walk east 90 degrees, Okay, say 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters, whatever. And then you can go down south, 180 degrees. And then you can go west, 270 degrees. And then you can go back up north to zero degrees. All right, now I'm going to run this through real quick. It's getting dark. It's going to get too dark on me, and I'm not going to be able to show you all this. So I'm just going to run through it real quick on the compass just to refresh you. Okay, now, you're going to start out 90 degrees, okay. Let's switch this thing back over. Let's switch this back over, okay, so that I put it on macro so that you can see this up close. Okay, we're going to turn the dial because we want to travel 90 degrees, okay. So you put this compass on 90 degrees east, okay. Now, you're going to move it. You're going to turn this compass. You're going to turn, physically turn the entire compass so that. Okay, direction of travel arrow. Okay, now, see that right there? I got my, my uh, north lined up. So I'm going to follow my direction of travel arrow, okay? Because I know that I'm facing magnetic north and I want to go east, so I'm going to follow that. Okay, now, once I get there. 
Okay, once I get there, I'm going to stop after my 50 meters, 100 meters. You can start out with 30 meters, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go south 180 degrees, okay? So what I do then is I turn my travel dial to south, okay? Turn it to south, and then I'm going to physically turn the compass this way so that my north lines up, and I'll be traveling in that direction, okay? And then once I get there, once I've walked off my meters, then I'm going to set it for west. 270 degrees. And see, it's really, it's really nothing to it. 270 degrees west, okay? Lined up with my arrows because that's where I want to go, okay? Now, and then I'm going to turn the compass, okay, till north lines up, which means now I'm going to be walking my 30 meters in this direction okay here we go again with this thing right here let me go ahead and set this up level and show you one more time okay see how when I move it around there's north and now and then I line up my mirror it's starting to get kind of dark now okay all right and then my last move okay my last move is I'm gonna go back north I'm, I'm, I'm just plain old gonna put the compass up here at the top Okay, north. And then I'm going to turn my compass until the north lines up. This time, north lines up with my direction of travel of arrow, which means that I'm going to go in this direction. Okay, now, <clears throat> let me cut you off right here. Now, what you want to do is this is a great exercise right here, and, and, and this exercise is going to wind up getting it to where you're going to build up tons of confidence. You're going to be you're going to trust your compass there's going to be no more confusion uh get out there start out with 30 meters learn your paces in your yard practice them do your square like this do your triangle map it out uh see how close you can get go 30 meters 30 meters 30 meters see how close you are to your pack then you go 50 and then you go 100. kind of start out in flat ground at first if you can and then later on, tackle the hard stuff. Don't get out into the woods and the hills and the brush, because if you do, you're going to be way off from your target point, and you're going to get very discouraged. So I had fun. I hope you guys learned something, and that's my simple way of determining distance and direction. Till next time, see ya.